Hey, thanks for checking out the video and I hope you're having a very nice day. Today we get to take a look at the Convoy S26A, a large flashlight. It actually uses the biggest battery I think I've seen, big old 26800 cell. And this thing, it's a massive rechargeable lithium ion battery. Here it is compared to a 21700 just for reference. And I consider these to be big batteries, but up next to this 26800 kind of makes it look small. It's pretty crazy, but in any case, uh, we're gonna talk about this flashlight today. And I wanna thank flashlightgo.com for sending it to the channel for review. They sent a few lights to this channel that I wouldn't otherwise have gotten an opportunity to check out. Um, and this is one of them. So big thank you to flashlightgo.com. If you're not familiar with them um, and you really like flashlights, definitely worth checking out their website. You can find a lot of great brands, batteries, and so on. And they've got a rewards program if you buy a lot of flashlights. But yes, the S26A. Before getting into the specifics of the flashlight, I wanna say a few things about the brand first. Convoy is one of those brands in the flashlight world. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, um, I'm happy to share this with you. I saw Convoy as a product for the first time on the YouTube channel, Smothered Chrome. I wanna shout out that YouTube channel. It's a great channel if you like flashlights. But basically they're known for three things. Um, build quality at great value and above both of those custom options. Basically with Convoy, you can choose between different LED options. On the S26A, there's three different LEDs to choose from. I'll put them on the screen. You can also choose between your color tint or your light temperature, um, your CCT. If you like super cool white light, you can choose something high like 6500K CCT, or if you like a really warm orangish light, you can go for like a low CCT, 3000 CCT, um, 3000K CCT. And there's a bunch of options in between as well. And some Convoy flashlights even have reflector options. So if you want a smooth reflector or an orange peel reflector, um, you can do that as well with Convoy. So really cool brand. So I'm excited to take a look at this light today. Um, before we get any further though, let's take this outside at night for some beam shots. All right, we're gonna run through the cycle of modes that the light comes in by default. There are additional menu options you can get to, and I'm gonna put the user interface details in the description of the video. But yeah, this is the lowest output setting right here. Um, I couldn't find any runtime information on this flashlight um, just because there's no manual, but I can only imagine the runtime, especially on a low output like this would be just insanely long. But yeah, already seeing a little bit of hot spots kicking out maybe 20 feet, 25 feet already. Um, from here, jumping into the next brightness level. Now this SFT40 LED version um, tops out at 2000 max lumens. Um, we're not looking at that yet, but um, the other LED options can get you up to 3000 and 4000 lumens, depending on which one you choose. So if you want more output in terms of lumens, you're able to do that. And we're really ramping up. You can see the beam profile really well here. So you can see the cutoff towards the edge of the screen and then you get that hot spot in the center enabling you to get some good throw from this thing step up to what i believe is going to be high mode next tons of light absolutely tons of light and then once more this i believe is turbo tons and tons of output see how far we can get some Oh yeah, really nice. So yeah, tons of light. After this, I think we're gonna get into some blinkies. So if you're sensitive to strobe, that's coming up. Yeah, it looks like a variable rate of strobe. That's not a constant rate of strobe. From here, we got a little bit of like a shimmer mode. Um, if you know what this is for, just let me know. I haven't figured that out. It's kind of like a lightning effect, but it's more I guess it's like a pulse really it's not quite strobe but it just kind of flickers a bit interesting and from here we have sos so you have that functionality as well actually I don't, i'm not sure if that's sos or just a beacon pulse and then after that we're back down to the low output again so that's the main cycle of modes now there are additional ways to set this flashlight up as discussed before but yeah, really impressive amount of output coming from the S26A for sure. 
There are a few more things worth knowing about this flashlight. Convoy ships it in a very simple box, similar to their other products. Now the good news is they pass along the value or the savings to you by not having a fancy box with fancy packaging. They're able to give you a good value proposition on the flashlight itself. But yeah, you just get a simple box with a sticker, gives you your LED information and color temperature. And then um, there's no manual as well. So extremely bare bones when it comes to this flashlight. The whole thing is going to be in a bubble wrap sleeve. And here's the light itself. Pretty much how it comes. You can decide, at least on flashlightgo.com, you can decide to order the S26A with or without a battery. And just to give you an idea of the price point, without a battery, at the time of recording, this light goes for $29.99. And with a battery, it's $35.99. So um, that's just an idea of the price. I believe they have a 10% discount running on first order. At least that's what I saw when I jumped on their site earlier today. So that's kind of cool. But in any case, um, yeah, you have the option to order this with or without a battery. As discussed earlier, you can choose between three different LED options as well. So you can kind of get the custom experience, tricking this thing out to your liking. And then also the light tint or CCT, you can choose between, you know, super warm or super cool white light. Um, whatever your preference is there or something in between. And then I wanted to go over uh, a pro and a con. That is exactly the same thing. And that's that the battery is huge. So obviously on the pro side, giant battery means lots of capacity, lots of runtime. Not gonna be lacking that um, when it comes to this flashlight. That's for sure. This battery is giant. As I showed you earlier, next to a 21700, really puts it into perspective. This battery is enormous. Um, so that's a pro and a con, and I'll explain why it's a con just by demonstrating how challenging it is to kind of charge this thing. It does not fit in slot chargers, at least not the ones I have. And my Mi Boxer M4 right here, this will not fit in any of the bays. So you really need a, a, a charger with large bays or something that attaches to, you know, the poles to charge this thing up. So that's something to consider before you get this flashlight or this battery in particular. And um, the second cool thing on that note is that if you wanna run a smaller battery, an S26A, you can. There's a separate little section here toward the tail end of the body. This little part of the tube unscrews and you can place it aside. Once again, the screws are, you know, the threads are squared off and well lubricated. Build quality is nice on this. But yeah, let's drop in that 21700 in here. This this is a battery that fits in my charges no problem. Now it does have some wiggle room on the sides, but the spring towards the head portion and the spring on the tail portion, you know, compress just enough with this shorter tube that you don't get any rattle. Maybe the smallest amount, but it's really snug in there. It doesn't it doesn't rattle around like you think it would. But now you can run this flashlight with a 21700. A lot easier to charge for some. So that's an option. I wanted to point that out. I think that's a really good design decision on Convoy's part to have that section of the body, this little tube section, removable. I like dual fuel flashlights myself. Okay, and I'm going to spare you the user interface um, discussion in this video, only because it would be rather lengthy and on flashlightgo.com, they have all the different functions and modes of this flashlight and the operation um, that's easy to find on their site. I've also pasted it in the description of this video. So if you're interested in the user interface and the function capabilities of this flashlight, they'll be down there in the description for you. But um, yeah, I wanted to show you this flashlight. We've got the we'll go up close view here for you. We've got some texture all along the body. Tube, it looks like a tube. It's the same diameter from head to tail. Looks pretty modern, pretty sleek to me. Um, this is a heavier flashlight, especially with the giant battery inside. And it's a large diameter. Um, I don't want to say you can't pocket it. Um, that depends. I mean, I, I don't think it's very portable, like on person, but this would be a great thing to have like around a house, a shed, a vehicle. That's where I think this thing would really shine. Just having a go-to flashlight with plenty of runtime you wouldn't have to charge it very often at all depending on how often you use it but that's where i think this thing really shines pun intended 
um, in, in the use case in which it's around where you are, but not on your person necessarily. But yeah, really good flashlight here from Convoy. One of the largest batteries I've ever seen. But I hope this video gave you a good look at it. If you have any other questions about this flashlight, put them in the comments for me. I try to get to those uh, as quick as I can. I always appreciate you watching. Hope you have a good rest of your day. God bless you, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.